Hello everyone, Anar here coming to you from our FX headquarters here at Seven World Trade Center. Before we begin today, just want to remind you that Forex trading does carry a high level of risk, so please be sure to read the disclaimer at the end of this video very carefully. Today we had a question come in from Robert, and Robert wants to know, what is the difference between the four pending orders on the MT4 platform? Specifically, Robert wanted to know the difference between a buy limit, the buy stop, the sell limit, and a sell stop. Well, Robert, that's a great question. We get asked this all the time, especially from those new to Forex. We'll begin today by defining each one of those separately, and at the end, we'll give you a quick trick for remembering which is which. So let's get started. Let's start with the buy limit. A buy limit is a pending order you place when you wish to buy at a price below the current market price. As an example, if the euro dollar is currently trading at 1.40 ask, and you wish to buy if the price drops to 1.3950, you may consider setting a buy limit order at 1.3950. This would imply that you're speculating that the market will rebound upward after the order is triggered. A buy stop order is a pending order you place when you wish to buy at a price above the current market price. As an example, if the euro dollar is currently trading at 1.40 ask, and you wish to buy only if it rises to 1.4050, you may consider setting a buy stop order at 1.4050. This would imply that you're speculating that the market would keep moving upward after the order is triggered. A sell limit order is a pending order you place when you wish to sell at a price above the current market price. As an example, if the euro dollar is currently trading at 1.40 bid and you wish to sell only if it rises to 1.4050, you may consider setting a sell limit order at 1.4050. This would imply that you're speculating that the market will reverse downward after the order is triggered. A sell stop order is a pending order you place when you wish to sell at a price below the current market price. As an example, if the euro dollar is currently trading at 1.40 bid and you wish to sell only if it drops to 1.3950, you may consider setting a sell stop order at 1.3950. This would imply that you're speculating that the market would proceed downward after the order is triggered. A trick is to draw a set of perpendicular lines on a piece of paper. The horizontal one will represent the current market price. If you draw a BL and then an SS in the bottom boxes, it spells bliss. If you remember that bliss is on the bottom, then you should have no problem figuring out which pending order to place in a given situation. Just as in with instant orders, pending buy orders are done at the ask price and pending sell orders are done at the bid price. So always be mindful of what price you're monitoring. To make sure you see the ask price, you're going to right click on a chart, choose properties, then common, and then show ask line. And now, once you click OK, the ask line is on the chart. So thank you for watching our FXED video today. If you have any questions, make sure to email us at salesteam at fxed.com. Thank you and have a great day.